everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me again today. Uh, it's Celebration Saturday. Now, if you are new to Stamping Up, don't know what Celebration is, well, Celebration is a promotion that happens every year between the beginning of January and the end of March. And during that time, for every £45 worth of products you buy in one transaction, and they can be from either of the catalogues or it can even be from the clearance rack, uh, you can get to choose one item from the celebration catalog for absolutely free and in fact you can't buy any of the things in the celebration catalog they are only available when you hit that magic 45 pounds and uh, if you buy if you get 90 pounds worth of goods you can choose two things 135 pounds you can choose three things and so on now today i am going to be featuring uh, the Dis carried away designer series paper I nearly couldn't say that one then. And this is something that really caught my eye. Uh, now you get 12 sheets, two of each of the double-sided designs, and you might think that because it's free that they would skimp on the quality, but they don't. It is absolutely glorious. So here are the different designs. I'm just going to tease you a little bit with, uh, with little glimpses of them. And if I turn them over... That is what they look like on the other side. And this is what I'm making today. It's a slider card. So if I pull the panel at the top, it pops up to reveal a hidden message. And if you'd like to make one of these for yourself, stay with me and I will show you how I made it. Things that I'm using to make my card today, uh, I've got a piece of Knight of Navy, which is four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I'm going to score and fold that at five and a half inches. I've got another piece of Knight of Navy, which is three and three quarters by five and a half, and a third piece, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I've got a scrap of Whisper White, I've got some pieces of the Carried Away DSP. Um, this one is four by five and a quarter, and this piece is three and a quarter by five and a quarter, and it's actually the same pattern. It's just the, the other side of it. Uh, I'm using Lift Me Up stamps, and I'm going to be stamping in Mint Macaron and Knight of Navy. The dies that I'm going to be using, excuse me, missed, are the uh, up and away dies and the layering ovals and the cat is not necessary to the project but I'm going to do some scoring on the card base and I'm going to start by scoring on the long side at half an inch and again at two and three quarters and at five and at five and a half and I'm going to turn the card and I'm going to score at half an inch but I'm only going to score down as far as uh, that mark there okay in fact I'm going to score between those ma those marks no, in fact I'm going to take it all the way up to there and I'm going to score it at three and three quarters. Oops. Jumped out of the track there, but that doesn't matter. Okay. So can you see that? I know Knight of Navy isn't the best of colours, but I think you can see where those score marks are. I've got my craft knife, I've got my ruler, and I'm going to do some cutting. So I'm going to cut from this point which is where the score line reaches the mark that I scored at five inches, not the one at five and a half. And I'm going to score all the way down to the bottom. I'm not going to score at all, I'm going to cut. So I'm going to line my ruler up with my score line, top and bottom, and I'm going to cut. Now you can do this with the scissors, you can do this with your stamp and trimmer, you can do this with whatever makes you happy and whatever works for you. At this time I'm going to use my craft knife. Okay. Now I'm going to cut the slit on the fold. 
So again, I'm going to line up my ruler and I'm going to cut from half an inch to three and three quarters of an inch. So to stop myself from overshooting, I'm going to pierce on the fold and I'm just going to slice. And I'm going to do it a couple of times because what I want there is an actual, when I actually have it, I want a little bit of a, a slit rather than just a cut. Okay, this is going to be the front panel of the card. It's the piece that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And uh, I'm going to stick the DSP on to it. And I'm using a wet adhesive simply because it's what I've got handy. I'm going to put it down the middle as well. Okay, and I'm just going to centre that onto the Knight of Navy panel. And I'm going to take the largest of the layering ovals and I'm going to take that over to the big shot and I'm going to cut out an aperture in the middle of this panel. I've stamped and die cut out the little balloon and I've used Knight of Navy and I've also done some of the clouds in uh, mint macaron. Now there isn't a stamp for, for these clouds so I've just die cut them out of some whisper white and now I'm going to assemble my front panel. Now I want some nice big clouds on the edge for my balloon to stick to and I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive, a little bit of wet glue just on the edge of that cloud there so that it um, it sticks into my panel and where should we have another one? Should we have another one there? I mm, don't think I like that. I think I'm going to turn it around and just going to put a little bit of glue on that top edge there and I'm working on my silicone mat so that if anything um, comes, gets stuck then it's just going to stick to the mat. Well it won't stick to the mat, that's the whole point. Okay, so now let's have the balloon place and we'll have it around about there I think so again a little bit of a little bit of glue there I want to cut an aperture in this panel that matches the one in this panel exactly. Uh, so this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, here's the piece of card that I cut out from this panel and I'm going to match it back into the gap that it came from. And I'm going to stick it down. with some low tack tape just to keep it in place okay so now I'm going to put some snail just a couple of little spots on the back I'm going to detack them with my fingers and now I'm going to line this up to where I want it to be when it's finished which is there and I'm just going to press down on that center panel lightly and just remove the front panel and now I can take the die that I used to cut that piece out put it over the top again just reuse that bit of uh, low tack tape just like that now I can take that to the big shot cut out that aperture and it will be in exactly the right place. 
This is going to be the slider piece and I want to round off the two top corners. So I'm just going to pop this into my corner rounder and uh, just to, I think it, it looks a little bit more finished and it also helps to prevent the, uh, the, the corners catching and I'm going to cover it with my piece of DSP. Again, uh, I'm using wet glue. You use whatever you like, okay? And I'm just centering the piece on. So this is what will show through the aperture of the card like that, okay? Now, it's actually a little bit wider than the slit that I've cut and I sort of did that on purpose because I wanted to uh, I wanted to kind of finish this by by eye as it were so I'm just sort of centering that and I'm just going to with my snips I'm just going to go into the slot I've cut and I'm going to cut mm, about a further quarter of an inch now if you're more confident than I am you could make the slit a quarter of an inch longer in the first place all right but I like to uh, I like to make sure that I haven't gone too far and chopped the darn thing in half because uh, that's been known to happen yeah okay so I'm just tidying things up with my snips And now I'm going to check that that passes fr freely through the slot that I've cut, which it does. So I'm happy with that. Let's be absolutely sure that that panel runs freely because the measurements are very, very tight. Uh, I'm just going to take another little sliver just off the edge of this piece here. It's, a, oh, it's not even an eighth of an inch. It's just a, a little sliver on either side. Just lining up with the edge of my panel here and just taking that off. Whoops. And I'm doing this because I want to be absolutely certain sure that this will run freely. And one more thing before I start putting things together. Uh, I've got my one inch circle punch and I'm just going to create a little bit of a, a notch here, round about in the centre so that it's easy for you to get your, your hand in and to and to pull the tab when it's all done. Right, I'm going to start assembling the card now. So here is my slider piece and I'm going to centre that where I want it to run. Okay, and um, I'm going to use some tear and tape. So I'm keeping, I want to keep the tear and tape up to the very, very edge of the card here. Okay. Nice and straight and right on the very edge. Because I don't want anything to foul the free movement of this panel. Which is why I took a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a sliver off the edge there because I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to catch on anything. But I do want a little bit of a lip of card to try and keep it at running in a channel. Okay, so let's stick these pieces down. Push that up out of the way just for a second and take the backing off the tear and tape. Doesn't want to come today. Actually, it is actually easier to do it. This was my fingernail, I think. Yep. There's one. And two. I'm going to keep that centered and bring the card pieces over. And just stick them 
all the way down. Okay, so I'm just going to check that the panel still runs freely, and it does. It's snug, but it's moving freely. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to get one more piece of tear and tape, which is going to run along this piece of the panel here. Closed position. When I pull the panel at the top, it should fold up. Okay, you might want to work the mechanism a few times so that it's running smoothly. But that now is happening. So now I'm going to put the front panel onto the mechanism and I am going to use my liquid adhesive for this because I want it. To stick pretty well and I also want to have a little bit of wiggle room. Now I'm going to pull that through just to make sure I haven't got glue anywhere. I don't want it and I haven't and you will notice that I have stayed well away from any edges so that if anything splodges out, that's a technical term, um, it's not going to go on anywhere that it will stop the mechanism working. I did most of the stamping for this project ahead of time. I stamped that balloon in Night of Navy and I stamped out um, a few repeats of the clouds in Mint Macaron. But I am going to stamp a sentiment now. I'm going to use this one. Thanks for lifting me up. And I've got Night of Navy ink and my little scrap of Whisper White card. I'm just going to ink up my stamp which is already on my uh, clear block here and I'm just going to Press that down and I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, right, so not the straightest piece of stamping in the world, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut that out uh, to go on the inside of the card. And here it is, as you can see, I die cut it out with one of the cloud dies from the Up and Away set. So now I'm going to put it onto my card here. So create a space for it. I want the corners stuck down, the edges, well, it's not corners, are they really? I want it stuck down really, really well. So I'm being generous here with the pins and I just want to push in those bits where it's sticking out because I don't want to get fuse onto the front panel and I'm just going to put that down, got my bone folder here and I'm going to burnish that down really, really well. adhesive that's sticking out on the front that's on the front there and I'm going to come in in a minute with my uh, adhesive eraser well actually it's coming off of my finger so I want that stuck down very very well okay there is the finished card now there were a couple of things that I should have done that I forgot to do so I had to do them afterwards uh, or one of them was to score along this panel here on the front panel uh, at half an inch from the edge so that when I pull the slider um, it will stand up nicely when it's finished and as you see when you pull it it reveals the message now I forgot to do that but it wasn't a big issue because I just came along with a ruler and my embossing tool and I just uh, scored along that edge a few times and worked it backwards and forwards until it did what I wanted it to do and the other thing that needed to happen and hasn't happened very neatly actually is to cut a notch here I'm just going to tidy that up it's better uh, so that you can actually you know get your thumb in and actually work the, the slider panel. There it is finished. So uh, what do you think? 
let me know. Comments box is below and there's also a link to my Facebook page where you can leave pictures of what you've been up to because I really really would like to see it. And if you have liked this video then don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe and to share this video. Uh, and if you want to get your hands on the things that I've used today including the free papers from Celebration then go and visit my Stampin' Up! store. There again is a link below this video. But for now, thank you very, very much for joining me and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. So this is what I've made with the... and this is what I've made using those papers and uh, it's a pull slider card. So when I pull the panel at the top, it reveals a hidden message. Stop.